A manager checks in with his ball club. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. Mets baseball starts right now. Zach Wheeler gets the starting nod for the Mets. Four, four, take your base. Standing in, Dirk Eichel. He'll get to take his first the cuts here. Dirk Eichel. <laughs> 
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Popped up. Cool is under this one. And he's got it for out number one. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Matt, I think there's some concern about Michael Conforto right now. Well, he's really struggled in this recent stretch. You look at it, he has only one RBI. So coming to the plate, Dirk Eichen. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Sullivan going back and off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So it's a solo shot to dead center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Mets open things up here. It's now four to one. Wow, nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely only. Stepping into the box, the first Dirk Eichen comes in one Dirk. for two with that I home guess. run he hit earlier. First pitch of the at bat. Hit down the third baseline. On the bag, on and the bag, on the bag. Good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one out double. Digging in to try it again. Kyle now Schwarber. Back. He comes Let's in 0 for 2 thus Kyle. far. Schwarber. And now on 3-0, and they won't even bother throwing another pitch as they'll just go ahead and put him aboard here. Yeah, the guy's been on fire lately, hitting anything close. So I think this is the way to go here. Get the bat out of his hands any way that you can. Now batting, right fielder. Digging in, Michael, Michael Conforto. One for two in the ballgame thus far. He's set. Here's the 0-1. This is on the ground over to first. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. So striding in, Dirk Eichen. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Eichen. First offering on its way. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Sullivan going back on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Jake Lamb standing in now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Come set and the 0-1. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. There's one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. nice to get the first game of the series but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd seems to energize everybody the rest of the series and tonight's comes to an end six to three the final New York jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back Zach Wheeler earns his eighth victory of the season Taiwan Walker was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss Edwin Diaz hammers down the save his 21st of the year so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak and Heidi Watney this is Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more find us on Twitter at MLB the show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. The winning pitcher is Zach Wheeler. His record is now 8 and 5.
The loss goes to Taiwan Walker. He falls to seven and seven. Time of the ball game, three hours and 17 minutes. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in Flushing, Queens. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. Stay tuned for Mets baseball coming up next. Digging in now, Dirk Eichen. He comes in today that leading the National League in hitting this year. Said. Guy does a lot Dirk. of different things in the ball Eichen. field. Not only has this guy been a hit machine all year, but he also leads the league in runs scored right now. So you have to give credit to the guys behind him who are driving him in as he's been getting on all season long. First pitch of the at-bat. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back into the second deck and gone. So a three run blast to straight away left. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Mets have come back to tie things at three. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. Digging in for his second at bat, Dirk Eichen. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Hey, Matty, an interesting sequence in that last at bat when he hit a home run. First pitch breaking ball when he hit that towering long drive home run. We'll see if they attack him more with fastballs in this at bat. Pool takes it in. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they were. Now at the plate, the Dirk Eichen comes in one for Dirk. two with that home Eichen. run he hit earlier. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Alfaro over at second. Gonzalez at first, two out in the inning. This run is Lord, lined to left. And he will make the catch just shy of the track in the inning. Next for the Mets, Dirk Eichen. The first baseman, number one. First Dirk. delivery to him on the Eichen. way. Dear and that's waved at and missed for strike one. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Line hard to the left side, but foul. The next 0-2. This one's down to third. Out, Lamb out. fields it cleanly, and that's the second out. Dirk Eichen will stand in, and as he does, we'll flash you back to the first inning of the ball game. A three-run shot had him off and running right out of the gate. Here comes the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 1. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And the Mets have something going with nobody out. It's a leadoff double. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. But he's able to slap it in the gap in the right center field. Because of the velocity off the bat, 
the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. Into the box, Kyle Schwarber. So far, two oh, for three in this one. The left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Come, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. The tag gets one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Now that second baseman, Wilmer Flores. A bullet to first base, and he'll take it to the bag for the out, and there's your unassisted double play. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Mets 11, and the Diamondbacks 8. Coming to the plate now, Dirk Eichen. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it, strike one. Alfaro on second, Gonzalez at first, one gone. And it's fouled away. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d roll but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Sullivan is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Jake Lamb standing in now. Now batting. Third baseman. Jake Lamb. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. And he'll just step on first here to take the shoe out. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. Wow, that was a fun one to watch. A great game for guys with the sticks, but for pitchers, not so much. A classic slugfest, and they walk away on top in the end. 13-10, more like a halftime score in a football game. That's the way this one ends. New York get the win on the heels of four home runs. Corey Oswalt wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time of the ball game, four hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Welcome to City Field, New York's National League ballpark in Flushing, Queens. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Mets. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Digging in. Dirk Eichen, and he's really swinging a hot bat in the series, to say Dirk. the least. Ten I RBIs guess. on four base hits.
First pitch of the at bat and they pitch out here but nothing's going on. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's a pro. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. I think it's time to start pitching around this guy. He's hit three home runs already in this series. I'm not sure what more they need to see, but this is not the guy. I... Ready to take his hacks again. Dirk as he'll look Dirk. to follow up the two run oh, homer yeah. he launched over the wall last time up. Going back to that last AB, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off speed pitches. Dan, yeah, yeah. are you kidding Great me right there? there. I mean, that had to whistle that. past this guy's ear. That was a scary moment. Uh, Dero, they call that the old chuck and duck, right? That was really close, and that's one of the things that most pitchers fear, that line drive that zipped right by your it. head. Wow, Go that was here. awful close. Kyle Warburg. The 0-1 delivery. Grounded slowly to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Stepping up to the plate, Dirk Eichen. He singled one. his last time up. Dirk Eichen. First delivery to him on the way. High in the air out to center field. Sullivan is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Dirk Eichen will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back one. to the very first Dirk inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hard ground ball to third. Lamb over to his left on to first. So a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. At the plate, Dirk Eichen went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. Eichen. Here's the first pitch to him. Grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The throw to the plate. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. In now, Kyle Schwarber. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Kyle Schwarber. Now the 3 0 offering. And he won't even have to take the bat off its moorings. A four pitch walk here. Standing in, Chris Taylor. He could That's really use a knock here. Number 0 for three. 3 in the game so Chris. far. Taylor. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now Michael back. Conforto comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here it is, the 
Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And this is a great example of what happens when you can't find the strike zone. The first walk of the inning looked harmless enough, but this one brings a runner home. Self-inflicted wounds are always the hardest to swallow. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, the Ahmed Rosario. Four. He's looking Short to stop. deliver here with the bases Amen. loaded and two out in the inning. Rosario. Looking to leave him loaded. Hit weakly back to the mound. He'll come to the plate with it, and they get to force it home. Whatever works as the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We've played eight full. The Mets are out on top, seven to one. Yeah, that's the way you want to finish a three-game home series, breaking out the brooms and sweeping the other guys right out of here. Seven to one the final today. The New York Mets seal up their 30th win at home on the season. Aaron Sanchez earns win number four on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets seven runs on 10 hits one error they left 16 men on base time of the ball game three hours and one minute thank you for joining us here this afternoon and we remind you to please drive home safely